don't know. My wife, Benice, was smashed. We were both put outside Stacy's tattle shop in Goldthorpe. One day, it was Benice's turn to hold the rod. And as she was leaning for it, she fell into the pond. Oh, it's okay. It, it happens to everyone. <laughs> but that's not all. She climbed out of the pond with a huge crack. So they put my wife outside the shop on top of the front wall. That cat, the one that killed Angus McCortup's parents, oh. that serial killer cat, knocked my cracked poor Bernice off the wall and onto the cobbled street. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Like I said, it also happens to everyone. Obviously. <laughs> That's not the end. Bernice had lost an arm when she fell, but otherwise was okay. Until that cat jumped down and hit her. She went flying and ended up in the road where she was hit by a car. Ugh. <laughs> Yes, she was smashed to smithereens. Oh, Bernice Fishfinger, that lovely lady gnome who ate fish fingers for breakfast, lunch and dinner. She was the rose to my ivy. The sugar in my salt. The pineapple on my pizza. Yes, all right. It's a tragic story. <laughs> but go from tragic to true love. And let's talk about how we love each other. Hmm? You love me. I'm flattered. But I never said I loved you. Mm. Hello, my old chap. Mm. So great to see you. Uh, I, I'm very happy you accepted my, my invitation. Well, why did you invite me? Because I haven't seen you since I played that sad tune for you at your wife's funeral. Oh, my webs and woes. Mm. What a magnificent performance. I feel as if I owe you a favor. I must tell you about the, the revenge plot that Mickey and Angus are plotting against you. Well, I never. I won that fight fair and square. Mm, well, well, you did push him into a pile of dog poo. Uh, his greatest fear, so you kind of did bring it upon yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. I just, if this continues, I, I fear that, that your bag body and your stunning bag girlfriend are at risk. What? Gemma? Hmm. Me? We're too beautiful to die. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about, but, but Gemma is a delightful chatterbox. The way she goes on about these random people like, um, like Mrs. Tesco's and, uh, and um, oh, uh, Mrs. Morrison's. Can, can you just be quiet for two seconds? Uh, Felicia Primark and uh, Jack Aldi. Quiet! <clears throat> I need to think. But I'm the best Lego worshipping shortbread in the community of slightly mouldy shortbreads. I've seen prettier shortbreads. <gasps> well, let me tell you the truth. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> I do fancy you, Susan. Our eyes met over the coffee beans, the Lego moments we shared. 
but, but I still love my wife. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> but she's dead. Who's dead? What is your problem? You. You're the problem. When you were played, you sound like a cat getting its ear pierced. Well, you're 2D. You barely exist. You sent my Karen away. Your Karen tried to kill me, and it sounds like you will too, I presume. You. Outside. We're already outside? So we are. Right. You're for it. Oh, this blasted machine. It's so slow. Oh, it's the big day for Isidore Rita's play, and I need a coffee so that I can make it through without falling asleep. Oh, 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 oh this blasted machine webs and woes. Spill hot coffee all over my hand. Uh, oh, I'm going to be late to her play now. I'll see you next time on Iced Tea for Two. Remember to check out my latest video. Stay cool and chillax. Stay cool and chillax. So that's what the youngsters are doing these days. It's quite interesting, actually. Um... Some rate gossip for you. Oh, who gossip? I've just seen something going on between Admiral Fishfingers and Susan. What kind of thing? <laughs> I think it was love. Susan's my mouldy shortbread. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You like Susan? She's the mouldiest mouldy shortbread that I've ever seen. If you ever say that again, I will punch you so hard that you'll not even be alive anymore. Okay, laddie, let's just calm down, okay? Let's take a minute. Inhale. Exhale. What? Well, why is this all happening? Let me go check it out. The florist? Well. I'm going in. Where the hell's Big began? He was supposed to give me a lift to the school play. Oh, great. Can't wait to be embarrassed in front of the whole school for being late. <sighs> Have you seen Big B? He sold me this rip-off fly-catching equipment. No! Him too. He waddled into this cafe when I was uh, interviewing for my YouTube channel. But I didn't see him leave. Totes mysterious. But just stay cool and chillax. I'm sure we'll find him. Hang on. Isn't that what you said at the end of your video? Isn't that your tagline? <laughs> you know Bigby's a very literal person. The, the fridge. fridge. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> oh. We're stuck. No thanks to you, Big B. I knew. You have nothing in your noggin. Stay cool and relax. Indeed. <laughs> you big, thin idiot. You touring fool. You 
bad, useless beast. You are the worst option in rock, paper, scissors. And you're illegal. You will regret this. It's time. It's time for this to end. I swear that I will haunt your filing cabinet until you die, and I will fill it full of water and little cheeses to make you soggy. Where are they? Where's who? What are you doing with my Susan shortbread, you imbecile? Your Susan shortbread? Yeah. My Susan Shortbread? Uh, no, she's my Susan Shortbread. Hang on a minute, Admiral Fish Fingers. Five minutes ago, you weren't sure whether I was the woman for you because of your dead wife that you couldn't stop thinking about. My Benice. See what I mean? Susan, we met at Biscuit College in the art room. You didn't have any mould back then and you were wearing a, a cute apron with a with a, with a... Shortbread face on it, which, now that I think about it, was probably your face. And I knew that I loved you. As soon as I heard that name on the register, Susan, the mouldy shortbread. And you look just as beautiful all these years later, especially with the mould. You knew each other at college? Nobody ever told me. Dave, I've been trying to tell you for years. I loved you at college. Ever since I saw you in the cafeteria, sitting with those not so handsome friends of yours, the digestives, <laughs> and picking your nose in that rebellious way. Oh, he picked his nose. In my opinion, picking your nose is delightful. <laughs> Oh, and that fart that rang through the entire school for the rest of the day. I was in love. But I thought you loved me, Susan. Well, I like you both. I want to be with you both for the rest of my life. Eeny, meeny, miny, moan. Cheesy biscuit or garden gnome. Mm.